So why did he need a w- black director? Could a white director not have? It's not color. It's culture. S- explain the difference, because I think we're, we're Steven in Spielberg right did Schindler. In today's discussion, we dive into the powerful words of a legendary actor who has dominated the industry for nearly 50 years. Denzel Washington, known for his intelligence, honesty, and fearless attitude, isn't holding back when calling out Hollywood's flaws. Could he be the hero we didn't know we needed? After witnessing the industry's shift from meaningful storytelling to profit, driven blockbusters, Denzel is voicing his discontent with where things are headed, and he's not afraid to speak the truth. Let's explore what he has to say. So what a responsibility you all have to be, to tell the truth. Not just to be first, but to tell the truth. We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care if it's true. Just say it. Sell it. Denzel Washington is more than just a powerhouse actor. He's a deep thinker and a man who stands firmly by his principles. Now he's confronting Hollywood's so-called woke culture with the same conviction he delivers in his role. His concern extends to the younger generation, who he believes are increasingly addicted to social media. In this age of digital dependency, Denzel poses an important question. What message should we send to young people? Turn it off. That's what I would say. It's, it's, it's hard for young people now because they're hooked. They're addicted. If you don't think you're addicted, and I'm talking about anyone, from the highest to the lowest, if you don't think you're addicted, then see if you can turn it off for a while. Denzel Washington has never been afraid to speak his truth. While promoting fences, he made one thing clear. It's not about color, it's about culture. And he wasn't just talking about the film he was calling out Hollywood as a whole. While the industry loves to applaud itself for being progressive, Denzel isn't buying it. He knows that true representation runs deeper than skin color. It's about understanding and honoring the cultures behind the stories. To him, Real talent and meaningful storytelling are being sacrificed for the shallow pursuit of social media fame. As Denzel bluntly put it, can you turn it off for a week? Martin Scorsese probably could have done a good job with Schindler's List, but there are cultural differences. You know, I know, you know, we all know what it is when a hot comb hits your hair on a Sunday morning, Mm -hmm. what it smells like. That's a cultural difference. Not just the color difference. So it's the culture. Relationships have to do with race relationships. You're white or whatever you are. I'm black or whatever I am. We're standing here talking now. That's how we get things done. You can't legislate love. The president of the United States can't legislate us into liking each other. Denzel's point is clear and powerful. Diversity on the surface isn't enough. Casting a black actor or hiring a black director means little if they don't truly understand the culture they're representing. Denzel Washington is saying what many people are thinking, but few dare to voice. Hollywood's idea of diversity often feels like it's just for shows focused more on checking boxes than on telling truly rich, culturally meaningful stories. For Denzel Washington, that's far from enough. But his frustration goes beyond the lack of authentic storytelling. Denzel has made it clear that this shallow approach to diversity isn't just misguided. It's harmful. In a serious interview, he talked about how the portrayal of black people in films has changed over time. Who laid the groundwork for me to be in the position I'm in, I'm gonna make sure that there's hundreds of roles for the next generation Mm -hmm. and utilize the power that I have at this moment Mm -hmm. in order to do that. And nobody's gonna get in my way. For Denzel Washington, it's not about appearances. It's about substance. He understands that the real power in Hollywood still lies with the same insiders. Mostly white men who control things from behind the scenes. Despite the industry's talk of change, Denzel sees through the facade. He's been vocal about Hollywood's habit of pretending to be progressive while keeping the same power structures intact. They claim to want diversity, but Denzel asks the hard question. Who's making the decision? It's a necessary challenge to the industry's superficial efforts. Denzel believes that real change goes beyond simply putting diverse faces on screen. It's about who's behind the camera, who's writing the scripts, and who's deciding which stories are told. In his eyes, Hollywood still has a long road ahead. And let's not forget cancel culture, one of the hottest and most divisive issues today. While many in Hollywood are quick to jump on the cancel culture bandwagon, Denzel stands firm, refusing to follow the crowd and challenging the culture of silencing voices. 
We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care if it's true. Just say it. Sell it. Denzel Washington has witnessed the impact of cancel culture, seeing how it stifles people and makes them afraid to speak their minds. He understands that when open expression is suppressed, we all lose. Denzel has been vocal about the dangers of cancel culture, which he believes threatens the very freedom of speech. For him, open, honest dialogue is vital for a thriving society. He's seen firsthand how cancel culture can destroy careers and silence those who don't follow the mainstream narrative. Denzel champions individuality and celebrates the importance of being true to oneself, even in the face of pressure to conform. There are millions of people that are falling in the gap because they don't fit in to this information age. I don't care who you are. You can promise people a whole lot, but there's a whole lot of people that are, gonna, that are in trouble right now because they just don't fit in. Denzel Washington's message is clear. We need to stop being so quick to blame people for their mistakes or differing opinions. Instead, we should be open to listening, learning, and growing together. In today's Hollywood, scandals are often exploited for profit, but Denzel isn't buying into that. He believes that art should uplift, tell honest, meaningful stories, and not just chase drama and controversy. And he's not just talking about it. He's taking action through his production company, Denzel Supports Production Company. Denzel supports projects that amplify the voices of the unheard and tackle important social issues. He's also mentoring young actors and filmmakers, encouraging them to stay true to themselves and their cultures. Denzel isn't here to play by Hollywood's rules. He's here to change the game. He's committed to bringing stories to life that genuinely connect with people on a deeper cultural level. Remember that powerful scene in How to Get Away with Murder where Viola Davis removes her makeup? That powerful moment when Viola Davis removed her wig in How to Get Away with Murder. That was her idea driven by the desire to show real, raw emotion. That's the kind of authenticity Denzel Washington stands for. He understands that when actors and filmmakers truly grasp the culture they're portraying, it makes all the difference. Denzel is also concerned about Hollywood's shift towards sensationalism and scandal, often at the expense of meaningful storytelling. He sees this as part of the broader issue with woke culture, which sometimes prioritizes controversy over genuine artistic expression. Fences, a film Denzel directed and starred in, is a perfect example of his commitment to telling deep, culturally rich stories that move beyond surface, level narratives. Can I ask you a question? What the hell you got to ask me? Mr. Stewiggy, the one you got the questions for. How come you ain't never liked me? Like? Denzel Washington has praised Fences for its focus on real human stories, steering clear of cheap drama. This is the kind of content he believes Hollywood needs more of stories that truly matter. He's not interested in drama for the sake of drama. His passion lies in storytelling that has depth and meaning. Denzel has also spoken out about the growing political divide in Hollywood. When a reporter once asked him who he voted for, Denzel firmly refused to answer. For him, it's not about playing into the political narratives. He's more focused on creating art that brings people together. Well, that was a question. Who, who, you the wound question? Up, who you wound up supporting in the election, presidential election? None of your business. <laughs> Denzel Washington has noticed how the industry has become increasingly polarized, with people being pushed to one extreme or the other. He firmly believes in free speech and the importance of allowing people the right to express themselves without fear of being silenced or forced into a particular narrative. Black Lives Matter movement, for example, and those issues, have, has that movement in particular, the Black Lives Matter movement, helped race relations or not in America? Well, in listen, we live in America, and in America we have the freedom to express ourselves. We shouldn't take that for granted. So whatever the movements are, whether you agree with them or don't, they have the right. Anything you practice, you'll get good at, Inclu including BS. Denzel Washington isn't interested in playing the political games that dominate the industry. He's been vocal about his belief that politics shouldn't be about left versus right. It should be about what's right versus what's wrong. Denzel Washington has highlighted Hollywood's tendency to lean heavily to the left, creating an environment where conservative voices are often silenced or ridiculed. 
he has expressed concern over the lack of balance and openness to differing viewpoints within the industry. But like I, I did talk about my three closest friends, and they did, you know, 15 to 25, one did 28, this and that. I was the only one of the three that had a father in my life, even though my parents were together. But I still had a father who was a gentle man and a good example, yeah. and they didn't. We can blame the system if we want, but they didn't lock any of us up at seven. Yeah. We were all doing enough to get locked up at 13. My parents sent me in another direction. They didn't have anybody to help them, and they kept doing what they was doing. Denzel Washington isn't saying people shouldn't have political beliefs far from it. But he's concerned that Hollywood's political bias is creating a lack of true diversity, not just in terms of race or gender, but in ideas. He has also criticized the industry's tendency to jump on the bandwagon of the latest political cause without fully understanding the issues at hand. Denzel has seen how Hollywood is quick to champion causes that are trendy in the moment, yet often overlooks the deeper systemic issues that need real solutions. For him, it's not enough to just talk the talk, you have to walk the walk as well. Some view Denzel as brave and spot on, while others find him too critical. But everyone agrees that his opinion matters. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.